Greetings fellow YouTubers, I'm here to uh, show you my uh, cyclone that I've made, um, give you a little bit of information on why I built it this way. Okay. Now, the reason to build a cyclone in the first place obviously to uh, separate the dust before it goes into the uh, filters to stop the dust from uh, clogging up the filters. Now, originally I didn't have much uh, inspiration for my design other than um, I owned a vacuum cleaner that had cyclonic technology and I basically wanted to build something very similar to uh, this cyclone here which has your uh, two stage cyclonic um, separation so you've got your outer stage goes around the outside separates the larger particles you've got um, this sort of like shield around here to stop a lot of the larger stuff getting into the smaller cyclone um, cyclones on the inside, uh, which separates a lot of the finer dust. So this is what I um, intended to create, and uh, this is my uh, end product right here. Okay. So as you can see, you've got your inlet port here. The air will go around, cycle around. The uh, heavier dust will end up at the bottom here and the finer dust should end up on that bin on the inside. Now this can be relatively easily opened. It's got uh, four little snap clips to uh, add a bit of pressure to the seal around the outside. Okay, helps to keep it sealed. And then, pops out like that. Okay, now as you can see, on the inside of the bin, You've got two bins, you've got your outer bin, which like I said, the heavier stuff will end up out here, and the finer stuff should end up on the inside bin. On the top half, as I was saying, we've got our shroud in here, that'll stop the uh, larger particles getting uh, through into the inner cyclones. Now, to make life a bit easier, obviously you want a way to get into the cyclones in case a blockage ever does occur, so I've made a uh, two-piece lid. Okay, we've got our upper piece. Now I've got all the uh, channels here from the five cyclones on the inside. Okay. And then the lower piece, which is a little bit hard to get out. Okay, you get five channels again going to uh, pipes that go down into the center of the cyclones. Okay. Now once you pull this out, this will allow you to uh, get into the inner cyclones, okay? You can clear out any blockages with your hand. There's also a hole in the middle here, so if uh, any blockages occur into the inlet pipes into those five cyclones, you can get in there and hopefully uh, clear out any blockages, okay? okay? So you can get a little bit more of an idea of uh, the cyclones on the inside. This is one of my uh, test cyclones that I used when I was um, experimenting, okay? So you've got your pipe going into the centre of the cyclone, okay, you can see there's a clear ramp directing the air from the uh, inlet tube around and below the inlet tube, so the air doesn't crash into the inlet tube and cause turbulence and stir the dust up as it's going around. Um, the inlet tube goes in, as you can see, on a bit of an angle, okay. This also helps to uh, create a smoother air path. Now obviously, no cyclone's complete without a cone shape, okay? So I've got these, uh, I guess you'd call them sports marking cones, okay? The top's being cut off so you've got a nice clean hole in there, okay? And basically five cyclones are being made like this, okay? And this is designed to uh, separate the uh, finer dust that goes into the uh, extractor. Okay, now back to our cyclone body, okay, at the bottom of um, this cone, as you can see, you've got five cones coming in here. Now this, uh, I don't know, shroud, I guess you'd call it, um, is, goes into the uh, smaller bin in, inside the larger bin, okay. Now this all needs to be sealed off so the air doesn't get sucked up into the cyclones, basically stopping the cyclones from working. So what I've got is got a bit of a neoprene... Uh, strip along the outside here to help seal it into the bin. Not only that, this outer cone tends to fit quite snugly into the bin anyway. Okay, so that's 
an important thing. Now we've also got a bit of a neoprene strip around here to help seal on top of the larger bin. And as you can see here, we've got the air ramp going around, making sure the air, once again, doesn't crash into the air that's going into the cyclone. Okay, and also it helps direct the uh, flow of the dust, etc., downward. So hopefully it gets um, placed at the bottom of the uh, outer bin. Let's talk a bit about uh, pros and cons of the design. Okay, now, of course, a few of the cons of the design, A, it's going to take a lot longer to build something like this. Okay, this took me a good few weekends um, working pretty hard to design, get the angles of the cones, um, the bin, etc. Building it all, putting it together. Okay, all, all took quite a long time. Okay, you could probably whip this up a lot cheaper with some drink bottles or something instead of using cones and tubes for uh, your, your inner cyclones, etc. But... Um, I wanted this to obviously last a fair while, it's going to be in the shed, it's going to get a fair bit of use. Um, another design flaw, obviously since you've got two separate bins, okay, does limit a little bit of uh, how much you can collect. Okay, obviously if you're collecting a lot of heavier dust, um, wood shavings, etc. from a router or something like that, okay, you're going to fill up the outside bin a lot quicker. Um, theoretically, if you're doing a lot of finer dust work like sanding etc okay you should fill up the inner bin quicker so weighing up exactly what size to make each bin will depend on uh, what you're going to be attaching it to okay now this unit's going to get attached just to my existing dust extractor so the size of the hoses etc are around four inch just so it can connect to the dust extractor we have if uh, at a later date we get a bigger dust extractor, um, I'll look at either making the hoses bigger or just using it for the um, to be behind the sand to extract the dust there. Another flaw of this design would be seals. Now, on the uh, inner cyclone area, okay, if I don't get a good seal on that inner bin, um, you're going to be sucking air in from below the cyclones, the air is going to go straight up through the cyclones and you're not going to get the effective um, swirling motion in the cyclone you needed and a lot of that fine dust is just going to go straight past them. Okay, so, so your seals need to be very good to uh, make sure all your separation works pretty good. Okay, some of the pros to this design, as you can probably see, um, this will take any size material uh, that will go through this hole. Okay, if I was to use a single cyclone, okay, one big cone, chances are the thing would be somewhere up here um, in height, but would be a lot easier to, uh, to manufacture. Okay, um, another pro of this design, probably less likely to get blockages, okay, than a single cyclone design. Um, I've done as much as I can to reduce turbulence to help a bit of the separation. Okay, you see a lot of uh, bean separators on the internet. A good separator, um, fairly cheap and easy to make if you don't have a lot of time or money in your hands to put towards it. But uh, from what I've read on the internet, doesn't separate the finer dust as good as uh, a proper cone-based cyclone. So uh, there's some of the things to look at when you build, if you build your own cyclone, okay, and um, now let's get into some testing, see how she goes.